we are gathered here as the board of Inuka Kenya to reflect on the current realities of our nation and even to take time and pray for the interest of the country is utmost in our hearts. And we believe that sometimes, not sometimes, always the divide intervention is key. The Bible in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, and beginning to read from verse 14. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear their cry, forgive their sins, and heal their land. At this particular moment, we need a measure of sobriety as a country. The sobriety is that we must know that God is our divine creator. And he created all. And since he created all, we are brothers and sisters. That transcends the political inclination and the political persuasion. Above and beyond all, despite our religious persuasions and our religious feelings, and even our political divide, let's remember, God is our creator. And everyone matters. Every op opinion counts. The government and even the opposition, we need to talk. And we need not only to talk, but we need to talk soberly, not at one another. We do not need to pontificate and to look at the other side as wrong. Let's talk. And above all, let's have a genuine dialogue and a dialogue that will conceive ideas that will be for posterity, not for personal test. It is my hope and prayer that we will follow the words that were written by Ezra at around 444 BC. And he wrote and said, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Let's humble ourselves at this particular time and let's know that we are mortals, we are humans, and all of us are made in the image of God. Let us also turn from our wickedness, corruption, and all the ills that beset our society. And lastly, let's pray. It is my prayer that tomorrow that the nation will remain intact. Despite what goes on tomorrow, let's know that people have not only a democratic privilege of exercising their freedom of expression, but they also have a civic duty not to destroy property, but they can ventilate, ventilate within the Constitution. Above all, every government should listen to the voice of the people. And it is my prayer that God will be with us. And let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come before thy presence, committing our nation's Kenya, our nation Kenya into your hands, we pray your divine guidance and provision be upon our leaders in government and our leaders in opposition. Give them the sobriety to think through the issues of the nation that surpasses our individual preferences, tests, and our individual biases. We pray that, dear Lord, you are going to guide our nation. We pray that, dear Lord, you are going to give us sobriety. And finally, dear Lord, we pray that you will preserve and protect our nation. We honor you and we pray that you will enable us to always keep the interest of the nation in our hearts. And now, may the peace of God which surpasses human understanding and may the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you the nation of Kenya and all our leaders and all our people and give us peace that surpasses human understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.